Proudly, we hail. City, where the American stage begins, here is another program with a cast of outstanding players. Public service time has been made available by this station for your Air Force to bring you this story, as proudly we hail another airman of the United States Air Force. Master Sergeant Jim Handley is a man who wonders, and just what it is that he wonders about is what we'll discover in a story titled, What a Day This Has Been. Our curtain rises in just a moment, but first, if you're an ex-service man, experienced in a critical skill needed to keep America's air defense strong, you're in luck. The Career Incentive Act opens up new opportunity in the Air Force to veterans of all the armed forces. Yes, if you possess one of the skills the Air Force needs, you may qualify in the United States Air Force and in a grade that will be a pleasant surprise. The Air Force needs men skilled in many important fields. So put your service earned experience to work to your best advantage as a member of the Air Force team. Make the credits you've earned toward a comfortable retirement pay off. For complete details, write or visit your Air Force recruiter. Ask for the special prior service man's folder. See what a return to the service as an airman can mean to you. Today and tomorrow, you're better off in the United States Air Force. And now your Air Force presents the proudly we hail production, What a Day This Has Been. Man alive, who was that? I'm sorry, officer. You a master sergeant in the Air Force barreling along the highway like some kid in a hot rod? Yeah, well, I guess I didn't realize how fast I was going. Hand over your registration. Yeah. I suppose you got a real good excuse, too. Well, as a matter of fact, I have. Okay, what is it? Look, you might as well give me the ticket right now. You'd never believe it. I wouldn't say that. I've been riding this highway 15 years, and I heard them all. You never heard this one. How do you know? Look, I'll tell you what. If it's a real good one, I won't write the ticket. It's a long story. What do you care? You're not going anyplace. Yeah, well, you see, I'm, 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 I'm late. My wife is waiting. Ah, uh-huh. the keeping the wife waiting bit hasn't kept the guy from getting a ticket from me in ten years. Uh, I'm disappointed in you, sir. Well, that, that's just part of the story, officer. See, it, it all began early this morning when I was having breakfast. Let me ask you something, officer. Do you like your job? I'm asking the question. Well, I just asked because maybe it would help you to understand the story. Now, I like my job. I'm in charge of the Air Force recruiting office back in town here. Yeah? It's interesting work, and you feel you're accomplishing something. But every now and then... Every now and then what? Well, it's just that every now and then... Coffee's getting cold. Oh, oh, yeah. Now, look, Jim. You've been sitting there for the last 20 minutes, and you haven't touched a bite of breakfast. Please put the newspaper down and eat. Yeah. Now, what's the matter? Well, here's this guy, Jankowski, who pitches for the Giants. He says he's going to be a relief pitcher this year. He says he's too old to go nine innings. Is that a reason for you to go without breakfast? Too old? He's only 36. That's only a year older than I am. Next year, he's going to be a coach. I'm sure he'll do very well. You realize that as far as the Air Force is concerned, I'm, I'm just sort of a coach, too. I mean it. I'm a recruiting sergeant. That's about the same as standing on the sidelines and telling the other fellows what to do. Do you realize how many years it's been since I was a tail gunner? Well, uh, You realize how much older we're getting, Marge? We're not getting that much older, Jim. Used to be where I was in action myself. Now all I do is tell other fellows about it. 
What am I doing sitting at a desk all day, anyhow? You're sitting at a desk because it's an important job and you're qualified for uh, it. And what's more, you like yeah, it. Yeah, 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 I like it. It's just that every now and then... <laughs> Let's skip it. I'll be late for work. Jim, look, I've been thinking. Hmm? Maybe you need a change of scene for a couple of days. Why don't you get together with some of the boys and take a little hunting trip upstate? Hey, you know, maybe, maybe that's not a bad idea. You're sure you won't mind? I wouldn't mind at all. But tonight, make sure you're home early. We'll go into the city and have dinner. Well. And then you can take me to a show. Uh Uh-huh. I knew there was a catch to it somewhere. And I don't want to hear any excuses about your being stuck with any last-minute work, either. I want you home early. Recruiting, Sergeant Hadley. Sergeant, this is Mrs. Thomas. Yes, ma'am? I'm Frank Evans' sister. Oh, say, I was just about to call you. Where is Frank? He's supposed to be sworn in today. Well, that's what I called you about, Sergeant. He can't get the car started, and he has no way of getting into town. He's out in the back now trying to get it fixed, but it doesn't look too good. Oh, well, that's all right. It's a quiet day around here. I can drive out there and pick him up. Where's the farm located? Well, uh, you take the main street out of town into Route 94 Uh, for six miles. And then right on the two-lane road for three miles, and you'll see the place. Uh-huh. It's the last farm before you get to the woods. Well, thanks. I'll be right over. Sergeant Hadley. Jim. Yes, dear. Just reminding you, home early. Yes, dear. No excuses. Marge, honey, my desk calendar for today has got absolutely nothing on it. There's no reason in the world why I shouldn't be home early. Now, don't you worry about it. I was just checking. Okay. Bye, dear. Oh, these women. Now, what did she say? Main Street into Route 94. Hey, what was that? That uh, must have been a truck backfiring. Hey, get that guy! Hey, buddy, buddy, pull over. Huh? What? Let me in. Okay, yeah. Follow that blue car. Okay. Now, don't get, ex- don't get excited or scared. You won't be in any danger. Just want to keep that car in sight. Don't worry, officer. I'll keep them in sight for you. There's two of them in there. They just held up a grocery store. Oh. They're both armed. They won't hesitate to use a gun. All right, let's go get them. It isn't your business to get them. Just keep them in sight. There'll be patrol cars out right away. I guess they don't want us following them. Just slow down a little bit and keep out of range. Don't worry about me, officer. I've been in bigger and better fights before. Slow down. You'll get yourself hurt. Get your gun ready. I'll pull up and give you a shot at him. Hey, you're, you're driving on the wrong side of the road. You got a zigzag. We had a pilot in my crew. He's a brigadier now. You should have seen him use evasion tactics. Okay, we're closing in. Open up and keep him away from the window. Hold her steady. I'll try for the tire. Excuse me, officer. That, that's movie stuff. Let's force him into the ditch. Hold on to your hat. Boy, you sure piled him up. Let's get him. Right. They hurt? Well, they look a little dazed. All right, you two. Out of there. Looks like you got enough help on the way. What's your name, Sergeant? Ah, what's the difference? Now, you certainly deserve credit. Hey, I gotta pick a fellow up and bring him into town. I'm late. Well, Jim boy, I guess maybe you're not an old man yet at that. <laughs> I wonder where all these cars are headed for. Hey! Hey, buddy! What's going on? Look, can't you smell it? Look ahead in the woods. Hey, that's smoke. That's a forest fire. All right, hold it, hold it, car. You can't go no further. Everybody out. Hey, you there, Sergeant. Grab a shovel and get uh, moving. Wait a minute, mister. I'm looking for the Evans farm. Here it is, right in back of me. Well, I just came by to pick up Frank Evans and take him into town to get sworn into the Air Force. Frank's in the woods fighting the fire. Oh. The Air Force will have to wait. Come on, out, son. Get out of there. Every able-bodied man's got to learn a Yeah, hand. but listen, Sheriff. This fire gets out of control, the whole valley will go up. Here's your shovel, Sergeant. Join those men. All right. You fellas here, fall on back for a couple of minutes and grab some fresh air. Oh, hey, Sheriff, hey. how's it look? Hey, if she gets out of hand here, kiss the valley goodbye. Over here! 
Come on, sir. Hey, Smitty! Get over to the radio and see if you can get the fire coming from volunteers from Centerville. Hey, hey, what's that kid doing roaming around here? Hey, Senator, this is no place for you. Go on home. Uh, he says he's looking for Frank Evans. It's important. Frank Evans? Anybody seen Frank Evans? He says something's a matter, and Frank's sister wants him to come home quick. Sister? That could be bad. She's expecting. Has anybody seen Frank? Well, somebody get him over to his house real soon. Where's that Air Force sergeant? Right here, Sheriff. Hey, run home with the kid and see what the trouble is, will you? But, Sheriff, you need men here now. I can't spare a trained firefighter. They need a man back there, too. Get going. Hello? Anybody home? Oh, you must have come from the fire. Where's Frank? Well, they couldn't find him, so they sent me. You must be his sister. Say, hey, didn't I speak to you on the phone a little while ago? Yes. I... What's the trouble? Well, well I'm, I'm going to have a baby, and my husband and Frank are both at the fire. Oh, when's the baby due? Right now, I think. Well, uh, look, I, I... Can you get me to the hospital in town? Well, can you make it? I don't know. Let's find out. Come on. My car's outside. My bag is all yeah, packed. Yeah, let me, let me take it. It's funny. I thought it was still a week away. I guess the excitement with the fire and all. Yeah, yeah. Now, you, you just sit back and relax, huh? Do you have any children, Sergeant? Yeah, two. Oh, well, then if worse comes to worse, you'll know what to do? Well, uh, well, what do I know about it? I, I mean, I never had to deliver any of them. I wasn't even there. I was flying the Berlin airlift when my boy was born, and when Marge had our little girl, I was over in Korea. Oh, well, let's... Let's not worry about it. Yeah. What's the quickest way to the hospital? Well, there's a road through the woods. It'll save almost half the time. Right. Right here now. Slow down. You, you can turn left here. But what about the fire? Well, it looks clear so far. The fire hasn't come this way yet. Yeah, but we have no way of knowing what lies ahead. Oh. What's the matter? Uh, I don't know. I guess we better take the road through the woods. I think so. Otherwise, you'll have to deliver this baby yourself. Yeah, yeah. I, uh... I think I'm beginning to smell smoke. We've only got three miles. You mean it's three miles to the hospital from here? No. There's a pretty wide stream with a bridge across it. Uh-huh. If we can only get to that bridge in time, we're safe from the fire. Well, we'll get there. Oh, slow down. Huh? What's the matter? Oh, the road is bumpy. You'll have to take it easy. Oh, well, then we made a mistake. We, we were better off on the highway. Yes, I think so. Let me turn around. We'll go back. Oh, we can't go back. Look. Huh? Uh-oh. Fire's in back of us. Oh. We've got to make that bridge now. We've got to race the fire to it. Oh. Uh. oh. How you doing? I don't know. Well, look, what's on the other side of that bridge, assuming we make it? It, it leads right to the highway. You'll save six, seven miles this way. I see. But turn around again and look. Is it gaining on us? I can't tell. Maybe you better not look anymore, huh? What's the matter? Look at the trees. The wind seems to be shifting. Which way? The wrong way. I'll have to step on it. Oh, right. Now, hang on. Oh, look out for that bump in the road. Oh. What are you smiling at? Now's the time to tell any good jokes if you know one. Oh, nothing, nothing. I just happen to think. I have to write up a report of my daily activities. wonder how this is going to look. Sergeant, you'd better slow down. You'd better. That bridge, what's it made out of? Wood, I think. Oh, the fire's up ahead, too. How far to the bridge? Just the other side of this curve. You'll see it in a second. Hey, look. There it is. It's clear on the other side. Oh, the bridge. The fire's closing in on us on the right. Part of the bridge is burning. Don't worry about it. We'll have to chance it. Now close the window on your side. Oh, we won't be able to make we it. we got to make it. Hold on. Here we go. <laughs> You are listening to Proudly We Hail. We'll return for the second act of What a Day This Has Been in just a moment. A word about the Air Force Prior Service Program and the opportunities it offers to all former servicemen. For example, does your current job offer you security, a guaranteed annual wage, 30-day paid vacations, promotion opportunities, and valuable technical training? If it doesn't, visit your nearest Air Force recruiter and check on a career with... 
Yes, the Air Force provides all of these and more under the liberalized prior service program. You start out with a grade based on your military skill with choice assignments in the U.S. and overseas. And if requested, you get a paid 30-day delay to report in... The U.S. Air Force Today and tomorrow, you're better off in the United States Air Force. Just a blue from the skies and a pretty girl's eyes and a touch of old glory too. And now for the second act of the Proudly We Hail production of What a Day This Has Been. I'm afraid to open my eyes. Where are we? We're over the bridge. How, uh, how are you? Right now, this second, okay. Good. I can't give you any guarantees. Oh, that's all right. Since I started out to get your brother, it seems like I've been living each minute as it comes. Oh, this is the highway. You turn right. Right, yeah. It's only a couple of more minutes now. Well, wait a minute. What's this? Hmm? Look at all these guys. There's a guy with a red flag. Hey, buddy! Can't we get through here? Get through where? Look, I've got to get this woman to a hospital. Let us through. Let you through where? Hey, you hear that? They're blasting. You can't ride through here. Now, go on down the back road. It's back. only a mile out of your way. Hey. hey, hey, that lady looks about due, huh? Yeah, yeah. I know the look. I got ten kids myself. Uh, look, uh, turn right here. Go about a half a mile. Cross right. the tracks. Turn left. All right, thanks. Yes, sir. This is certainly a day for everything. You keep looking at the dashboard, Sergeant. Is there something wrong? Well, uh, my gas gauge reads empty. Oh. Uh, look, well, let's not worry about it. Yeah, and I'm willing to bet on something else. Huh? What's that? That man said we'd have to cross the tracks. I know those tracks. They're used mostly for freight. Big, long freight trains. Uh-oh. The way things are going, I bet we'll have to stop for one. I was afraid to mention it. Listen. What? I hope it's just my imagination. Oh, no. No, it isn't. Oh. Can, can we make the crossing? There she is. Look at the size of her. We can be held up for at least ten minutes. Have we got ten minutes? Don't ask me. I don't even know how I got this far. Uh, let's see if we can get to the crossing first. Are we going to make it? Close your eyes. I'll let you know. I never did anything like that before in my life. And I'm never going to do anything like that again. Listen, are you... Uh... Holy mackerel, she's fainted. Well, Sergeant, you're the proud papa of a nice seven-pound boy. If you got your wife here five minutes later, you would have delivered him yourself. Well, uh... Thank you, Doctor, thank you. Oh, here, here, sit down. You look as though you're ready to pass no, I, out. I'm okay. I've seen fathers go to pieces at times like this, but you take the cake. A nurse, bring me a glass of water. Uh, uh, quickly, the spirits of ammonia. He's fainted. Oh, hey, Sergeant. Hi. Get to the hospital? Yeah, yeah, just in time. I heard she had a boy. Husband's with her now. Understand they're going to name the kid after you. Yeah, yeah. How's the fire? Yeah, looks like you got her under control. You think I can take Frank back with me now? I told Frank to take off about an hour ago. He got to lift into town with his brother-in-law. Oh, well, looks like I drove all the way back for nothing. Uh, not for nothing, Sergeant. We all want to thank you around here for what you did. Well, they say the Air Force can handle any mission, whether it's in the books or not. Anytime you got a forest fire or you want to get some woman to the hospital, just call on me. I'm an experienced man. You see, officer, that's it. And I'm late. I was due home an hour ago. You married, officer? You ever kept your wife waiting when you had a date to take her to dinner and a show? So that's why you were speeding. Well, you... I, I didn't realize I was going so fast. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry, too. Sergeant, 
You don't know how secure it makes me feel to realize that we have in the Air Force men of your courage and ability. Yeah, but, but you're going to give me a ticket anyhow. Right. Well, I know, I know it's hard to believe. But to show you I'm not such a bad guy at heart, I'm going to give you some free advice. If it's true that you're keeping your wife waiting, then you'll need an excuse. And take it from me, buddy. You'd better make up a better story than that one. Hello, dear. Uh, I'm sorry I'm late. It'll only take me ten minutes to shave and get into my new suit. Uh, is it too late to go into town tonight? <laughs> hey, listen. You hear that song they're playing? It's the song the band played the night before I left for Korea. As far as I'm concerned, you can go back to Korea tonight. Oh. Well? Well, what? I'm waiting. I'm sure you're going to attempt an excuse. Well, no, no. I don't think I'd better try to explain this. I said I was waiting. Well, what's the use? You wouldn't believe it anyhow. Where were you? Maybe once every six months we can get a chance to go out to the big city for something I'd like to do, and you let something come up to ruin it. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm sorry. Honey. You can go down to the drugstore and get a sandwich, because I didn't prepare any supper. Here's a bulletin from the city desk of the news courier. An Air Force sergeant became a Please hero... Please shut off the radio. At this point, I'm sick of Air Force sergeants. Resourceful master sergeant in Air Force Blue. I said turn it off. Who cares? What's that sticking out of your pocket? Looks like a traffic ticket. Oh, yes, dear, it is. If you've left for home at a reasonable hour, you wouldn't have to be caught speeding. Where were you? Well, dear, I left my office at about noon. I had to give a man who just enlisted a lift into town. On my way, I passed the scene of a holdup. A cop jumped into my car, and we chased a bandit. Really? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, anyhow, after a fight, we caught them. Then I got to this fellow's farm. There was a forest fire. His sister was having a baby. I had to rush her to the hospital. All right, all right, that's enough. Yeah, yeah. 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 If you don't want to tell me, you don't have to. Hello. Yes, of course I'm home, Helen. No, we didn't go. Jim was late, as usual. What? What do you mean, have I been listening to the radio? I'll call you back. And so, what a day this has been for Master Sergeant Jim Handley of the United States Air Force. More excitement, more adventure than most men encounter in a lifetime. As Officer Bill Goodwin, who helped the sergeant capture two desperate holdup men, would say, as Sheriff Jed Miller, who led the forest fire fighting crew, would say, and as Mrs. Ruth Thomas, the proud mother of a baby boy, would say, Sergeant Jim Handley is right on the beam. And that's your news for the night. Jim, tell me what happened. Why, well, I, I told you. Oh, sit down, hon. I've got a steak in the refrigerator. You want french fries? Let me get you slippers. No, 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 no. You, you sit down, too. Marge, I don't think I want to go on that hunting trip after all. Oh, honey, it's all right. Go ahead. No, no, no. I don't have to look for excitement anymore. I've had it. You know something? I feel great. Well, why shouldn't you feel great? You're a hero. Oh, Dad, no, forget it. I wouldn't have missed this day for anything. You know, I guess I've been asking for it for years now. You mean you've been asking for a chance to capture bandits? No, no, nothing like that. But I, I've been asking for something. I'm not sure what. But you know, it seems I've been hoping for a chance to prove something to myself. What do you have to prove to yourself, Jim? Well, in a way, if you compare it to baseball, I had to prove I could still pitch nine innings if I had to. After all these years at a desk, I, I just wondered if I could still be of any use to anyone in an emergency. I never doubted it. Yeah, that's a wonderful feeling. There's just one little thing that's bothering me, though. What? What, dear? I wonder how much that traffic ticket will cost.
When you make an investment, no matter what it is, you want that investment to pay off, right? If you're a former serviceman, you certainly made an important investment in time and energy during your service career. Remember those long hours you spent learning valuable skills? Today, many of these skills are urgently needed by the United States Air Force. That's why you'll be sitting pretty if you re-enlist now. The Career Incentive Act opens up new opportunity in the Air Force to veterans of all the armed forces. Yes, if you possess one of the skills the Air Force needs, you may qualify for the Air Force and in a grade that will be a pleasant surprise. The Air Force needs men skilled in many important fields. So put your service earned experience to work to your best advantage as a member of the Air Force team. To begin with, there's a paid 30-day delay in reporting if requested. What's more, there are liberal bonuses for those career men who re-enlist. There is a wide range of assignments available in the USA as well as overseas. Make the credits you've earned toward a comfortable retirement pay off. For complete details, write or visit your Air Force recruiter. Ask for the special prior serviceman's folder. See what a return to the service as an airman can mean to you. These are only a few of the reasons why thousands of veterans are making the Air Force a career. Visit the recruiter listed in your telephone directory and you'll see why today and tomorrow you're better off in the United States Air Force. This has been another program on Proudly We Hail, presented, transcribed, in cooperation with this station. Proudly We Hail is produced by the Recruiting Publicity Center in New York for the United States Air Force. This is Ralph Rowland inviting you to tune in this same station next week for another interesting story on Proudly We Hail. <laughs>